Squarespace started life 20 years ago as a blogging platform. That's all it was built to do. And so it still does blogging really well. And it also gives us a lot of granular control over the styling of the blog. So how we present those blogs and how we present that initial blog front page to the world. And yet a lot of people aren't sure how to do that styling. One of the main things is the blog layout. So how we display the excerpt and the thumbnails of our blogs all in one place. So in this video, I'm gonna show you, I think it's maybe five or six different layouts that you can choose for your blogs. Okay, so we're in our blog here and you can see we've got this quite nice layout to be fair. But if you wanna change this, all you need to do, you know, once you're in your blog, so I'll go back to show you how to get there initially. Website, pages, find your blog, click into the blog, and then you're on the blog page. So click on edit, and then you're gonna scroll down to the section that contains the blogs. So click on section or edit section, and then you're gonna see layout here. So click on this, and we've got how many? One, two, three, four, five options. So you've got side by side blog, which is this. Then we've got single column blog, which is this, which I think looks awful, personally. Um, we've got the masonry blog, which looks like this. Basically, with the masonry blog, all of these, oh no, they're not the same, okay. So with masonry blog, it's not gonna crop any thumbnails, which again, I think looks a bit naff to be honest. Um, the best one, in my opinion, is the grid. The grid's just the cleanest way to display blogs. And then we have what we had prior, which is alternating side by side. And then within that, and this is different for all of these, we have styling. So first off, you've got the page width, then the vertical spacing, which is just the spacing between each of the posts, aspect ratio of the images, which you can see here. And then you can basically fiddle around with all of the alignment of the text, of the excerpt, the read more link, the title spacing. And then we can choose whether we want to display the metadata, um, whether we want just one or maybe even both. So like a category and a date. And then we can even choose the delimiter style, which is this little thing between that data. So let's imagine I'm going to set up a grid because I think the grid's the best. So we edit the section, and then we'll go basic grid blog. Now, I think we should do three. So again, you can see this is actually different um, different settings than what we've just been on, which was the, I think, the alternating side by side. So I'm gonna put three, and then there's way too much space here because it's maxed out. So I'm gonna put it down to let's say 50, and then I'll do the same with the vertical, which is gonna be 50. Don't know why they don't align, that's really weird. And then I'm gonna say, I actually don't want any metadata. So I'm gonna click on this and click none. And then we could have had the date in there. I'll tell you what, I'll keep the date, I'll keep the date, but I wanna reduce the spacing no need for a delimiter in here. Hopefully I'm saying delimiter right, who knows. Uh, let's see, how much space do we want between that? Let's say 15. That looks good. And then I probably want to get re rid of the read more link. People know how to click on a blog nowadays. And then I probably want to reduce this up here. So... Let's find out where that is. Should be image spacing. There we go. Let's do 25. And let's make, I wonder what ultra wide screen looks like. No, that looks pants. Okay, cool. There we go. So you can see, I was doing a, a talk about blogs the other day. And basically, when I go into a blog, I wanna see as much visual data as possible within a small a screen of real estate as possible. So when you have these big square aspect ratio 
like side, not not even side by side. It's alternating blogs. People just won't scroll all the way through your content. If you can give them as much as possible without overwhelming them in one sort of viewport, you increase the likelihood that people are going to read more or actually click on anything in particular compared to, let's say, when you're just doing this one big block here. If they don't like the look of that one, they're probably not going to scroll all the way down. People are lazy. And so, because visitors can be very uh, impatient and lazy when they're on a... Um, cut that. Because visitors can be very impatient with their scrolling habits. So if they don't like this, they're probably not going to click. They're probably not going to scroll. If they see this, we give them a lot more option and hopefully we reduce our bounce rate. So that's what I would recommend. But you can have a play around, change your layouts and see what works for you. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.